bestest friend ever. You look amazing, and I can't wait to see you get married. I'm going to cry on the aisle. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Jessica. Hi. write in my journal about who I would marry someday and what I wanted my future husband to look like. Little did I know God would give me someone better than I could ever imagine. And little did I know it would be a random guy from a small town in Western Kentucky who joked about marrying me before we even started dating. As individuals and as a couple, we've been through more obstacles than anyone I know, but I've also come out the strongest. With all the highs that I've experienced and things I would like to experience in the future, the common denominator has always been you. I promise to watch football with you without complaining, or I'll try my best, if you compromise and watch the Kardashians with me. I promise to never go to bed angry, because I never want to wake up angry, but also because you know I can't physically sleep when we do. I know over time we'll grow and change as people, and we might not always be on the same page, but I promise to always strive to do my best for you and be the person that you need me to be. Cole, today and forever, I give you my heart, my soul, and my trust, no matter what. You're my best friend, the one I always wanna come home to. Standing here, where it all started for us, I can confidently say I'm heading into today knowing that this is the best choice I'll ever make. Cole Robinson Fogel, I love you forever. Emily Lynn Dawson, you were my best friend on this earth. You know as well as anyone that I gave my whole heart over to you a long time. But I couldn't be more excited to make it official today in front of all of our friends and family. I promise to love you for exactly who you are and to never wish you to be someone here. I promise to be faithful to you always. I promise to protect you and always make you feel safe. But as I write these vows, one thing stays at the forefront of my mind. You were sick and thought all hope was lost. God was never finished with you here on this earth. He knew then what neither of us could have imagined, that we'd be standing here today pledging our love and faithfulness to each other in His name. He knew I needed you before I ever left. I pray we always trust each other and trust that God will continue to walk through this crazy life with us. I love you, Emily, and I will love you forever. Take you, Emily, to be my wedded wife. I, Emily, take you, Cole, to be my wedded husband. And I 
pledge that I will be faithful. I will love and serve you as, as long, long as we, we both, both shall live. live. Cole and Emily, it's not a minister that's standing here before you that makes your marriage real, but it's the honesty and the sincerity of what you've said and done here before your friends, before your family and loved ones in the sight of God. For as much as Cole and Emily have committed together in holy matrimony, have witnessed the same before God and this company, by the authority committed unto me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I declare that Cole and Emily are now husband and wife. Cole, you may now kiss your bride. We set out at the first light. We lit up with the sunrise. Gets my heartbeat. My dreams for Emily during those teenage years weren't about weddings, it was about would she be alive for her next birthday. I watched her change from teenager to young lady through that journey into the woman that she has now become. One thing that I learned as I look at Emily and Cole today, God has a plan. Our secrets to a great marriage. Put God first, trust him to guide you through the good and rough times after 54 years of marriage, we are still enjoying every day and value each other after 54 years. And we hope the same for you. Love you both. Growing up, Cole and I were the definition of brothers. He was always the older brother that did everything first. And I was always the best younger brother that came along and did everything better. But I don't know if I can do better than Emily. Emily, you are amazing smart, funny, gorgeous on the outside and the inside. You fit into our family well and I am so glad to officially call you my sister. I have known that Cole has loved Emily for a really long time, but it was leading up to their engagement that I got to see firsthand just how much. He put so much love and care and attention into that day because he knew he wanted it to be perfect because that's what Emily deserved and she does. If you both continue to put in that level of love and care that Cole showed that day, you guys are gonna have a marriage to cherish for the rest of your lives. So Cole, why I may refuse to call you her best friend, I'm happy that as of today, I get to call you her husband. And Emily, I just wanna say thanks for being my best friend. Emily, do you know we've always hoped you'd end up with a very special man? Cole, you are that special man. So Daniel, tonight you officially have a brother. And Matt and I, we officially have another son.